He who expects nothing will never be disappointed. Yes, sir. Oh, there will be no disappointment. Yes. But he that is expecting something, when he doesn't see it, he stands there by faith mm. and does not give up. Expectation is what makes a man never to give up. Yes, sir. Is that all the days of my appointed time will I wait until 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 why? Because he has an expectation. He has an expectation. So it's waiting. So the power of expectation. Is another power added to the people of yesterday that provokes a drastic turnaround. Number two for tonight, the power of the word. Pastor said it and quoted it earlier, but he said chapter 8 was He said, Where the word of the king is, there is power. And who can say to him, What do you that? The centurion in Matthew chapter 8, verse 8 says, Master, I am not worthy to come to your house. Speak the word only, and thy servant shall be. Speak the word only. We have spoken our own words enough. We have spoken our circumstances enough. We have spoken our situations enough. Let us start speaking the word. You know why? Everything responds to the word. Because everything was created by the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was with God in the beginning. Everything was created by Him, and without Him was not anything created that was great. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended the light. The light that comes from the word. And shatter any darkness, no matter how thick that darkness is. The power of the word. Psalm 1 that teaches us to, he said, You have exalted your word above all, all, all. You have exalted your word. You have exalted your word above all your name. Peter's drastic turn around the upper. At the point he responded to the word. We have toiled all night and we have thought nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, at thy word, we will let up the day. Bam! He turned around to place. Somebody's turn around is about to take place. Amen. Somebody's turn around is about to take place. Amen. The only thing God is committed to in this world is his word. Yes, sir. This is word. He's not committed to any other thing. Committed to his word. And God visited Sarah. Mm. What made him visit her? As he had said. As he had said. And he did. He did not only visit, he acted. And he acted because he did miss, he acted. Why? As he had spoken. Genesis 21. Yes, the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For at the time of mountain, Sarah conceived and brought forth a new child. And the God is in Christ. Your own Isaac is about to be born. Amen. Your own Isaac is about to be born. Amen. I say your own Isaac. Isaac means laughter. So your own laughter is about to be born. Amen. God is about to give you laughter. Amen. God is about to give you laughter. Amen. God is about to make you to laugh. Amen. Number three. Power of prayer. The power of prayer. The power of prayer. The power of prayer. The power of prayer. Listen, what you expect, and you have located the word, pray it out. Pray it until you see the manifestation. Pray it until it becomes your reality. Pray it. Jabesh is a classic example of a man who experienced a drastic turnaround by the power of prayer. The God is not the God of Jabesh.
Jabez, the Bible calls him the God of Israel. But Jabez took advantage of what belonged to everybody. And he alone had the just to turn around. His life changed. His life changed. In James chapter 5, verse 17 and 18, the Bible says Elijah was a man of life, passion, and spirit. And he prayed that the Lord reigned. And he did not pray for the space of three and a half years. Verse 16 says, and he prayed again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Prayer brought the problem. Prayer solved the problem. Hallelujah. And he prayed again. I never did bring and the earth brought forth that fruit. The earth brings forth to those who pray. For those who pray the world, for so shall my word be that went forth out of my mouth, it shall not return to me God. But as I accomplish the purpose of which I said, and it shall prosper with that which I said it. So don't just pray words, pray the word. Pray the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayer is the divine prescription for human affliction. Aggressive prayer is the antidote for the afflicted life. In the same James 5, 13 to 16, he said, Is anyone among you afflicted? Let him pray. pray. That's the answer. That is what we turn it around. Let him pray. Is anyone sick and is not able to pray? Let him call for the elders who are not sick. Let them stand up by him, anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And pray for him. And the prayer of the faith of the elders ah, yeah, yeah. shall cease. He didn't say the oil they anointed him to save the sick. The prayer will cease. And he has committed any sin to be forgiven. He went for that. He said, Confess the fault one to another and pray for one another. That will be healed. <laughs> if my people who are called by my name shall not put themselves and seek my face and talk from their wicked ways and pray, I will hear their prayer from heaven and I will heal. There is nothing God cannot heal. There is nothing God cannot cure. There is nothing God cannot save for those who can pray. The power of aggressive prayer brings drastic turnaround. Esau was coming to come and attack Jacob and kill him. Jacob set all the people away from him and he stood alone. And there a man wrestled with him from the night to the morning. And Jacob wouldn't let go because he has an expectation. In the blessing, he changed his name. And by the time he was meeting with Jacob, with Esau, he was a friendly meeting. He was no longer a warm meeting. Number four, the power of the anointing. The power of the anointing. The anointing is a capital channel for drastic change and turn around. In any life, in any family, the power of the anointing. There is nothing the genuine anointing of God cannot reverse. Acts 10 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went the Lord with you? Healing all that we oppress of the devil. God was Every evil work of the devil can be reversed by the anointing. By the anointing. Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass in that day. That his body shall be taken off your shoulders and his yoke from off your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed. The anointing and reverse and turn around anything. 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 And there are verses which God has anointed. And you also are anointed of the Lord. If you will steer it up. If you will steer it up. Because to every born again child of God, the Holy Ghost is inside you. And the Holy Ghost is the engine that powers the oil. The 
power of the anointing. The power of the anointing provokes that seed from the heart. And finally, number five. At least what we talk about the anointing, we're not talking about the oil you just put on your head. We're talking about the invisible or tangible grace and power of God on a man's life. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Finally, number five. The prophetic power. The prophetic power. The prophetic is a divine channel for human help. Any situation that has not turned around is yet to meet the appointed and anointed prophet of the man. Any situation that has not turned around is yet to meet the appointed and anointed prophet for it. Elijah did this and walked through Jericho several times. Mm. In fact, Jericho was one of the last places he went before he went to Jordan. Mm. But the moment Elijah got the oil, the anointing, and the prophetic power to transfer to his life, as he came back in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 19, yes, the elders of the city, the men of the city came to him. I said, you can see the situation of this city, mm. the way it is. Yeah. How come they are not talk to his master about it? Yes, the moment Elijah came, that problem was solved. And it was solved perpetually for the time. The curse of Jericho was lifted, mm. the blessing was imparted. Mm. Any problem that has not turned around. Yet to meet the appointed and anointed prophet for it. In Acts chapter 4, verse 23, we will read to chapter 5, verse 2, very quickly, meaning Acts chapter 4. Now, when the copy of King Ataxaxi's letter was read before Red Hill and Shimsha, the sky, and their companions, they went up in haste to Jerusalem unto the Jews. And made them to seize the work of the queen. How? By force and power. I want you to note that. The work seized as a result of what? Force and power. Let's read over. Then seized the work of the house of God, which is at Jerusalem. So it ceased until the second year of the reign of Daniel's king of power. Even the house of God. Who the war began to cease. The enemy, through their own power, made the war to stop. Chapter 5, verse 1. Then, the prophets. They like the prophets. They said, I am the son of Hidu, prophesied unto the Jews that were in and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel, even unto them. Verse 2. Then rose up the same prophet. The son of Shatira and Yeshua, the son of Josadah, and they began to build the house of God, which is at Jerusalem, and with them by the prophet of God. Okay, and them. Mm. What I've seized for years mm. Mm. began again by the heaven of the prophet, by the intervention of the prophet, by the anointing upon the life of the prophet. Whatever I've seized in the man's life. He's only waiting for his prophet to comply with it. As I close, the second king chapter one, second king chapter seven, verse one and two. Second king seven. There has been a calamity and a disaster in Samaria. People were eating dogs' feet. People were killing their children and doing barbecue and eating their children. Mm. Things were so bad. Mm. The famine was so great. Until Elijah came. Then Elijah said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Talk, said the Lord. That is the insignia mm. of the prophet. Mm. They bring a thought, said the Lord, to Elijah. 
the Bautista. 24 hours later. Because the Bautista it means in 24 hours exactly. Tomorrow in Bautista shall a ledge of fire from the soul for shaken. And two measures of body for shaken. They begin to Thus, then the Lord. I'm glad that they use a small L for his name. He's not the Lord, a Lord. Not the Lord, a Lord. The Lord on whose hand the king lived answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord, a Lord is speaking to the Lord and controverting the word of the Lord and doubting the word of the Lord, he said, If the Lord will be in heaven. Mm. Can this still be? Mm. Can we say? You will see it. You will see it. Mm. That's very close to that. Mm. Just keep turn around, you will see it. Amen. The question will be, will you eat it mm. or not? Mm. But about that you will see it, mm. you will see it. except God did not call us. Mm. Except God did not call this ministry and sustain for 20 years. Hey. You will see it. Amen. Just sit on around, you will see it. Amen. The choice is now yours. If you will eat it or not. Let me read verse 18 and then we will, we will close. Verse 18. Oh, that's the passage. Verse 18. Verse 18. And it came to pass. As the man of God had spoken to the king, saying, Two measures of body for a shepherd. And the measure of fine flour for a shepherd shall be to worry about this time in the days of Samuel. Mm. Verse 19. Mm. And that Lord answered the man of God and said, Now we will the Lord. Shall we pray to the devil? And he said, Be. And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes. Mm. For shall not eat there. Verse 20. Where are we close? Mm. And so it fell out of the it will fall out to every man in this conference yeah. according to their faith. Yeah. About the fact that we will see that sit on and out, we will see it. Yeah. It will happen. Yeah. It will be to every man. It will fall to every man yeah. according to their response to the word of God. According to their response to faith. According to their response to instruction. Yeah. And it fell to me. For the people fraud upon me in the gates. But you will leave to enjoy this drastic tournament in the name of Jesus Christ. He said you will see it. So I want you to say, I will see it. I will, see it. I will give you two minutes. See, my time is up. I'm going to shoot my time now by 40 minutes. So you will pray, Lord, this drastic tournament, I will see it. In my finances, I will see it. In my marriage, in every area you want to see it, can you proclaim it? And if you like, say that you can see it. I saw yesterday, when I was doing prayer, some people this year were trained to go. When we were praying, they were trained to go. And if you want to go, you're not busy. And if you want to better than it. The prayer is still a prayer, you want to go. Some people were not praying, they were just looking at the other that were praying. And say, I didn't give Jesus. Don't worry. But when the results happen, you will see. It will fall to every man according to their faith. So we're going to pray. He said you will see it. Lord, I believe that I will see just take God around happen in my life. I will see it with my own eyes. I will enjoy it. I will testify of it. In the next two minutes, can you pray? I will testify. Can you pray? Can you pray? Lord, I will see this dusty turn around. I will see it. I will see it in my ministry. I will see it in my family. I will see it in the life of my wife. I will see it in the life of my children. I will see it in my heart. I will see it in my finances. And I 
that we live to enjoy it. Last in turn around, we saw to me, according as God has said, just in turn around, will happen in my life, just as the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. This last in turn around shall happen. It shall happen. It shall happen. I will see it. I will see it. I will experience it. I will enjoy it. Be aggressive in your prayer. Be aggressive in your prayer. Lord, I am expecting a casting turn around. And I will see it happen. I am expecting a casting turn around. And I will see it happen. I will see it happen. I will see it happen. Lord, I will see it happen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We can't finish that prayer here. My man, all the time is up. I'd like to pray for us, everyone. And I'd like everyone to come forward to the altar. Hold on. And as you're coming, so we better be happy. Yesterday, ask us to bring a seed while coming.